Um, so I've got a property that I'm talking to the, the owner on in Texas. And I put this one in the Facebook group last night. Um, it's a, it's, it's actually two properties. It's a two bed, one bath and a one bed, one bath. They have it listed as a three bed, two bath. And so I'm just trying to figure out how I even analyze the value of this thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we talked about this one last night. Um, do you know which one is listed on the county records? From what the seller said, it's the one bed, one bath is the one listed on the county records. That's what it's worth. You have to comp it based on that. The rest okay. of the stuff could actually be a negative value. You could yeah. have something that was built illegally without mm -hmm. benefit of permit, that kind of thing. Okay. And so, um, you know, you've got, once again, you've got the upper hand here because they've got a non-conforming stuff in theory the, the county taxing authorities or the building people could come out and say, you've got to tear that other building down. So it's mm -hmm. actually not even the cost of the land. It's less than that. Got it. Okay. Type thing. And so uh, you can really put those kind of sellers in a vice and you say, listen, I don't, you can do one of two things. I can pay you more money if you can go to the county and get the permit issued and signed off on retroactively. Mm-hmm. Or you can destroy the illegally and non-conforming buildings and I can buy it as a one one or we can just deal with it as is and I'll take off the value of destroying the non-conforming from the one one. Okay, that, that makes sense. That helps a lot as far as figuring out the value of the whole thing. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's what it is. You know, and these guys that are smoking crack and telling you, you know, combine everything. It's like, okay, you know, they've got an anthill here. So it's another bedroom and there's a lantern over there. So that's a bathroom, you know, like just make up crap, you know? Yeah. No, it's a, it's whatever the County says, whatever the taxing authority says, that's it. Mm -hmm. And that if makes they sense. want to argue about that. They can go get that fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they're talking to her. She's like, yeah, the taxes are really cheap. And it's like, well, that explains why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they didn't do any of this with benefit of permit. You've got yep. something there that can't, and not only is it not a 3-2, it probably can't be sold. I mean, you'd never be able to exit that with um, an FHA, you know, any of the government, the GSE loans. It, they right. won't take those. None of those. In fact, most lenders today, the ones that are still financing funding like uh, Wells Fargo, they will only, they, they'll meet conforming standards for, F, for the GSEs, FHA, you know, Fannie, Freddie, uh, USDA, VA, all that junk. Um, it's got to meet those. And those guys will look at that and they'll say this, no, 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 that's got to go. Bye-bye, the other stuff. Got it. All right, well, that's great. That's very helpful information to know. <laughs> and I suspect, Jeremy, that they know this already. Mm -hmm. And they're just trying, you know, they don't understand the laws regarding fraud. Yeah. So it might be up to you to explain that to them. Mm-hmm. So they're trying to perpetrate a fraudulent transaction. And so you're here to help them. Yeah. Conform with the law and not get themselves in trouble, go to jail, et cetera, et cetera. Right. If you're willing to do it, of course, and, you know, your benevolence, it's going to cost sure. you money. Sure. That's the way to do it. <laughs> That's helpful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Craig, you know, it, it, sometimes it's a nasty business. Um, you just, you got to tell people just like it is. And, you know, if you drop turds like that in a punch bowl, that's, it is what it is. Yeah. You know, you're just, you're telling it like you're telling the truth. And, you know, they're, they're the ones that, you know, do you want to continue on with your fraudulent transaction or can I help you? <laughs> you know, exactly. the foul line. So, <laughs> that's what I would do. <laughs>